Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more uh, humanity. Last time I think we got our butts handed to us by some robots, but hopefully we can get through here. I actually kind of forgot their locations. But hello there, you asshole. Let me actually just real quickly kind of lower it just a tad bit more. Yeah, that should be enough. Back to the game. Oh, for a minute there, I thought there was a robot up there. I was gonna be like, oh, hell no. But let's see if we can survive here. Okay, I see one there. Let's kind of draw him over here. I'll say, come here, you ugly bastard. Maybe. There we go. Try not to waste ammo either, because like once we run out of ammunition for this gun, it begins to suck. And the and like the key with this machine gun is to not like hold down to fire because like you get very inaccurate. So you want to kind of like tap it, a little love tap, and just kill these guys. I think we're good here. Let me get a little bit of health. Ooh, there's some ammo in there. We can definitely use that. Plus, I think there's some health over here that we opened up but we didn't take. Pick that up and then let us proceed further here. I guess through this door. Alright, we definitely have done this before. Oh, thought I killed him there, but apparently not. Okay, there should be some ammunition in here. See, I still don't know what ammo that one, you know, square was, but we definitely got some more machine gun ammo, which I will not complain about. Okay, I'll say, take your time, reload, and proceed further. Oh, they, I remember, now we died because we were talking to that alien instead of killing the robots. Okay, yeah, definitely. We can definitely learn our lesson here. Let's say we'll clear out this room. Let's say you might as well come as well. Okay, I know there's one chilling over here. I love this gun. Like, this is so nice. I mean, it's not as strong as the pistol, you know. But it's good. Oh, apparently I killed that guy over there. Okay, I think we got them all now, so we can talk to the guy if we need to. See what he's got to say. We can definitely pick the loot around here that we need. Is this door open? Oh. It's not the door we came in from. But yeah, let's take what he's got. A little bit of health. Thought he had more. I see there's any ammo. No. Let's talk to him here. You better get out of here, or they will kill you or enslave you, just like they did to me and my family. I can't leave until I find a galaxy map. Have you seen anything like that in this place? No, I have not. I just make ships. I make these damn things for 18 hours a day. I will escape this hell one day. I wish I could help you, but I do not have a lot of time. My wife is counting on me. I hope you get out of here one day. Alright, so we're just going to let him be. Let's proceed. We can go that way, but I have a feeling like we're going to have to go that way anyways, like in the future, so... We'll allow that for when we need to go over there. Eh, I see you. I see you sneak in there. Ooh, wonder what these things are, though. It would be careful here, these explosive barrels could cause an issue. Especially when there's a guy right there. And I just killed myself. I shouldn't even have tried it, to be honest. Let's actually throw a grenade here, like it's a waste, but don't have to deal with him. Never mind. It was a waste and it didn't even deal with him. Mm. Let's shoot those barrels so we don't have to worry about them. Looks like it would kill him anyways, so there was no point of us being aggressive there. Oh, little baby spider scorpion looking things. 
a little bit more of them. I do not know why, but they seem smaller than the, like, the normal ones. I guess they might be kind of hard to see here. I mean, I would assume that their damage would be lower because of their size, but that's probably not the case. Wait, hello? I would love to take one of these babies home with me. They're like a little dog. A little pet. Got a weird soundtrack in here, though. It's like some mumbling. Oh, shit, where are you? You're a little bastard. Trying to sneak up on me. We're actually very close to the X here. Get you down. Oh, my. He's being too aggressive. Definitely too aggressive here. Oh, oh, oh. There's one there. Get out of here, you little bastard. Looks like we're going to be opening a door. Get this ammo and health. You got anything over there? Nope. Let us unlock the door. Usually they got like new enemies spawning in once you do it, so... Gotta be a little bit careful here, but you know what? Let's play it risky. Let us run here. Apparently it was a good idea. I like completely forgot we have like a slow down uh, skill. Like I'm not even lying. Oh shit. I thought there was someone there. He kind of blended in, so I wasn't for sure. We'll save there. I think everyone else is dead though. Looks like we're gonna be going this way. Doors open. Is someone chilling there? Nope. I kind of want to check this out though. Like I would have thought we'd had to come over here so there might be like a weapon stash or something. Especially when it's like this long empty hallway. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Perfect. Give me that ammo. Give me that health. We're doing so well that we don't even need it. But I'm glad I went over there. I just got a little bit suspicious because I would have thought that the game would have like pushed us over here if it was part of the game. So when it told us to go back, it, I, it had to be a weapon stash. Okay, kind of go slow on this turn. Might be somebody respawned here. Nope, seems to be clear. Let us proceed. Hello? I say we might be able to get to this door now. Probably this one. I say be careful here. One might be chilling in one of these. And nope, we're good there. Yes, you asshole. You know, you would be like, why do you guys just stand here? But I mean, they are robots, so they don't really need to like eat or anything. So I guess that is the perfect defense. Just kind of be like chilling right by a corner. If anybody comes who's not a robot or supposed to be here, fire. Oh, see, if I was someone, I would like to chill like right here. Just be like, no one can see me. But nope, they're in the next turn, apparently. Oh, that's nasty. And our health is taking a beating. Apparently, this is a drop-off. No turning back anymore. A little bit of health, though. I will take that. And we have a saving point. Okay, well, definitely save the game. A little bit of ammo. We might be getting a little boss fight here pretty soon. Okay, we're good on health, but I will take the ammo. Let me proceed here. We saved, so we should be good. Holy shit. Throw a grenade. Oh, my God. Okay, good job. The revenge of the babies. Get the hell out of here. Let me get a little bit more health since we got it. Yep, we're good. I must say, I think we got all of them. Not for sure, though. There was quite a bit of them. But, oh, shit. There's more of them. Where are they coming from? Like, there's so many of them just chilling in here. 
Can't even hit him. I like to shoot at him, but he just goes right through him. All right, so we're gonna lock another door. Apparently, it's probably down here, I would assume. Eh, maybe not. I do not know where we're going now. There is some health here. So yeah, actually, I think we might have to turn around, but you know what, we'll be a little risky here. Oh, still alive. Yeah, I think that's the way we need to go once we find what's in the circle, so we'll run back here. Ooh, there's actually a box down in there. Don't even know how to get that one. Come back all the way over here. Never mind, that might be the way we need to go. Ooh, I just like fell through the middle of the stairway. Had one job to do there. Yeah, and I don't think there's any other doors here. Yeah, so this is probably the way we need to go. I just wonder how we can get that uh, chest there behind the stairway. This does not make sense. But yeah, so this must like turn back this way. And yep, that's exactly what it does. To the room we need to go into. I mean, there's a red light that usually sent, seems like we're not supposed to go that way. But you know what? I want to check it out. It does not look impressive, but it might be the way. Oh, wow. He actually went down without, like, blowing up. That's interesting. Yeah, this might have been the way to go. Oh, there's a lot of you. I must say, let me back up. Okay, who else is chilling in here? So we pretty much just had to go back the way we came from. Oh shit. I'm faster than the uh, respawn of these guys. Okay, we take it a little bit slower here so they can spawn in. That guy had like three times to shoot me and he missed me every time. Okay, that door just closed so there might be someone chilling in here. Ooh, what the hell? For a minute, I thought this thing was like a, a robot or something. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, we gotta go that way. And we can go that way. I'll say, let's proceed this way first. It seems like the easier route. Melee guy running at us there. Trying to get lucky. Oh shit. Guy chilling right there at the, at the end there. Hidden. Perfect hiding spot. Let's get a little bit of ammo. We can also allow ourselves to kind of heal up a little bit. What is this? Are these planet? Galaxy map? Saigar galaxy? Proxio... Proeoxis galaxy? Carina? Adestria? I don't know, there's a lot of hard, weird words here. Orion Cloud, that's an easy one. Whoa, there's just a robot chilling in here. What map you got there? Let's talk to him. I am supposed to be cleaning the galaxy map, but most of the time I just study them and try to learn about what's out there. It is fascinating. Where can I find a Milky Way galaxy map? It is here somewhere, you will have to look around for it things aren't you don't you clean these places how do you not know but we can just kind of run a little bit ahead here galaxy map oh andromeda the galaxy next to a soap bubble nebula that's weird dirt nebula arlo's cluster solimus star system leopard's eye Euphorian star system. Okay, let's kind of. Which one are you here? Gamma. Lambda. Uh oh. Did not see it, weirdly enough. Oh, it's right here at the end. It's like way out of the circle. If I knew that, I would just ran all the way over here. I guess he wanted. I guess the creator wanted to see all the hard work he went into putting those, uh, 
star systems together. Uh, of course it's y'all. Oh, there's a big one. Okay, let me kind of run in here. Oh, this is not good. I'll be honest, they can kind of get over here and cause some issues. Okay, kill the babies. Okay, kind of hide out here. Oh, 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 oh. Again, some shots in. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Well, let me try to kind of regenerate. Looks like I'm not being able to regenerate. We're going to throw a grenade. Kind of move back a little bit. Apparently, we could see it. It went off, but it's still rolling. Looked like they didn't know where we were at. Throw another grenade over there. Put him down. There we go. Let's get a little bit of health here. That's our issue right now. They're like killing our health regeneration. We're doing good. He can. The creator can probably add a little bit more outside, maybe some ships flying around. Ooh, we got even an upgrade here, though. Increased life expectancy, something that we have been needing. Your life expectancy. 400, you can't complain with that. And I think we have to go back here. I'll see, we'll save again since we dealt with that. And what do we got here? These gloves, though, look very nice, too. Like, very unique. The artwork looks fine. Looks a bit fancy. Got to give them props where it's due, you know? The game's a little crazy. But it's got some good, you know, key little things there that make it unique. Alright, let's... This is a little weird, though. This, uh... I guess we get a nice look at the gun here. And strange that we don't have people, uh running at us here let's try this let's see what's uh, down here might be more weaponry or ammo gladly take that can't complain with more you can always have you know too little not too much I'll say we'll just keep on running here you know I'm surprised that there's no robots here you would think that they would like respawn but we're almost here to the X Okay, let's talk to this weird alien. You don't want to leave this way. The whole city is under lockdown. Someone hacked into the Cervex system and took control of some of the guards. Now there are hundreds of guards out there. Okay, thanks for the heads up. I'll find another way out. Uh-oh. So maybe this way? Kind of looks like the way. It's a straight line here. Kind of symbolizing maybe a boss battle. Uh, definitely some sort of battle here. Uh, man, I, this is the one time I wish I had a sh uh, damn sniper rifle. Okay. Okay, let me back up. Oh my god. Do I need to reload now? Oh no, we're good. Let's see if we can kind of draw this guy in. Look at his hand. Where did they get her from? Looks like we have to talk to him. Okay, let's get our fancy gun out. How did this happen? When did this happen? Okay, let's talk to Jesse here. Landon, please save me. I don't know how I got here. God, look at that guy's hand. Yeah, I'll do the best I can. I will get us out of this mess, Jesse. Just stay calm. Please hurry. I don't feel right. They're gonna turn you into a little pill. We will be in each other's arms before you know it. Let's look at him. Wow, he's got a little tentacle arm. God, look at his mouth. Those might be teeth. I'm not for sure. Regular robot. Another guy there. Let us talk to Gloom. Hello, Landon. Nice to meet you. My name is Gloom. I am the leader of the Serbak Federation. You have been giving me quite a few troubles lately. So now it is my turn to return the favor. How do you like my new girlfriend? I scooped her up from Earth. She is a pretty one, 
isn't she? Goddamn girlfriend snatcher. I like his voice though. He did really good on picking out a voice. Let her go, you son of a bitch. I should have known a human was behind the Cervic Federation. That is right. Humans do rule the universe, it turns out. My ancestors were captured from Earth hundreds of years ago. We escaped from our captives and fought our way to the top and formed the Cervac Federation, which means to serve. Our power comes from the service of others. We have been able to create the most powerful weapons and fleet of ships in the universe from slave labor. Guess where I learned how to do that. From humans, but yeah, that means his ancestors might have been uh, captured during the time period of slavery, I would assume, for him to know that. You are correct. Look how smart you are. I bet Jesse thinks the world of you. Yeah, I'm, I'm like there's only three other human beings alive. I don't know what you want and I don't care. Just let me take my wife and leave you in peace. I'm just trying to find a new home for us. Do you think you could just walk in here and steal one of my galaxy maps? I mean, can't you just get a new one? You can have your map back, just let us go. Sorry. to let you carry on the existence of humans. You see, I plan to be the only human alive in the universe. And I will live forever with the new research we have discovered. Besides, your wife does not want you anymore. She is my lover now. Just ask her yourself. Oh my god, he drugged Jesse. Alright, let's talk to her. Landon, help me. I don't feel well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's wrong? My head is killing me. Help me. They got into her mind. I will get you out of there. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit, they killed her. Oh, that's shitty. God damn, that was a twist. I can't believe that just happened. Neither can I. Guards, take Landon out of here and throw him over the side of my ship. You know I'm gonna fight you for it now. You will pay for this, you bastard. Get the tentacle monsters. Apparently we're gonna get thrown over anyways, apparently. Okay, this is weird. Oh, this is like that damn gala walk. Let's talk to him. It was a pleasure getting to know you and your wife. She was a beautiful lady. Look, they got rolling she in the background. We had the chance to make love with her once before her demise. You sick bastard. You will pay for what you have done. You are the fucking devil, you bastard. That may be true, but that should not matter to you anymore because you are about to die. Enjoy the afterlife, or whatever it is you Earthlings think happens when you die. God damn, look at their face though. Like, damn, I love them teeth. I will have my vengeance either in this life or the next. I will get revenge for what you have done to my wife and to me. Mm -hmm. Walk the plank, or we will blow your face off, just like your wife's. You got a little explosive implant? After I die, I will come back and haunt you forever. Yeah, 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 you bastard. I'm a vengeful soul, okay? Can't get rid of me that easily. I will be one with the crab people now. I will see you again soon, Jesse. Oh, we fell. Uh, okay, well, let's... Oh, well, shit. Let's go talk to her. That was snart, huh? Hello, old friend. Hello, old friend. Nice to see you. Oh, wow, he talks. Snart, thanks for saving me. Good idea. We will talk inside the ship. Okay, well, I get in here. This is moving a lot faster than I was expecting. 
I'll say, damn you robots making those alien works hard on that blood that y'all made them spill. Alright, this is a pretty big ship, actually. ISS Guardian. Got a little bit of a nice plant life in here. Looks like bamboo. Because it is bamboo. Alright, let's talk to this alien. Welcome to the ISS Guardian, Landon. We have heard so much about how great you are. It is an honor to meet you. Thank you for saving our research facility from the Evil Cervic Federation. I had to do it to save my wife. She is dead now. I have heard the news. We do not mate, so I do not understand how you feel. My soul is broken. Humans are very emotional beings, and we have a hard time understanding that. I am sorry for your loss. Thank you. Snart needs to speak to you. Z is in the flight deck. I have had all this signage of, on this ship translated so you can find your way around. Feel free to explore the ship. You never know what you might find. Nice to meet you. Bye. And apparently there might be some things around here that we can use. I mean, do we want to talk to this alien? We might as well. He looks pretty good. A little cool. A little golden. Welcome aboard. I do all the maintenance around here. Neat. I have a question for you. Why are we not floating around in here? It feels like there is gravity on this ship. That is because of the gravity... Gravitron 5000, created by the Cervex over 200 years ago. It allows us to create our own gravity on this ship. Last time that thing malfunctioned, I had my work cut out for me. Everyone and everything on this ship slammed into the roof. One of my buddies was using the restroom and got a mouthful of his own butt dumplings. Geez, I hope that does not happen to me. How is that old Gravitron 5000 working these days? I heard it's make it make making a rattling sound yesterday. I better go check on it. I would hate for you to end up with fudge babies in your mouth just like my buddy ew that sounds terrible please go fix the gravitron you know what i am glad i talked to you alien it's weird but you know what it's all right crew quarters huh must be some alien gonna come out of the uh ventilation and try to kill us here I like the soundtrack though. It's very like kind of it's kind of sad, but also peaceful at the same time. I can get behind that. Oh, he's on the toilet. Let's not give him any privacy. It is not customary for my species to, to compensate while discharging waste. Sorry about that. We will talk later. Will we? I really hope the gravitron goes out on you. Oh, look at their beds. That's weird. All the red doors probably do not open. Let's move forward here. I'll say, oh, there's a portal in here. We can't take it, but we probably will in the future. That's a lot, so we're good here. We've investigated the crew quarters. I'll say, have we even gone in there? <laughs> I think so. There's a bar up ahead. Our guy would probably want to get drunk. Why is there a naked alien with boobs? Dancing alien. Let's talk to the bartender. Welcome, traveler. We serve 12 different variants of water from 12 different galaxies. Neat, I love water. Try our sparkling Orva flower water from the Andromeda galaxy. And it has tasting notes of dirt from Mars, green slime from Jupiter, and melted ice from Pluto. Um, okay, I think, I guess. Oh. Wow, look, she's glowing now. Hello, Mr. Landon. How does she know our name? Do you have human skin? Uh, you look kind of like I a human. I am 164th human. The cervix were testing on my species and added human DNA to my genome. That kind of sucks. That explains it. Why are you dancing? My species does not usually partake in dancing. I learned how to dance from watching Earth movies. Snart thought you might like some entertainment. It's weird. Oh, I see. I like your moves. Thanks for chewing me up a little bit. I must say, we'll be nice. You know, they're doing it for our, you know, trying to pick us up. So it's a little weird, but it is what it is. Ooh, look at this bush. Oh, very nice. 
dining hall. We have an alien chilling here. Playing some weird game. It's got ass on it. I don't know why. Hello, I am Targon. I am the co-pilot on the, of this ship. Snart does not mo does most of the piloting though. I just sit around and play board games. I love this game. One time I played the word Quizify on two triple word scores and got 419 points. What are you, some kind of genius or something? You think you are smarter than me? No, sorry, I have to go. Wow, don't be a dick. Okay, there's nowhere we can proceed further this way. I mean, did we miss something in here that I don't know about? Let me check here. Probably uh, further this way. Yeah, okay. This is where we need to go. Looks like a research lab or room here. Flight deck. No one's chilling at the seat there. Got Snart here. Good to see you, Landon. I am happy, but you made it out of the mothership alive. My wife is gone. I have no reason to live anymore. Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. You can find meaning in your suffering. I don't think anything good can come from suffering. I just don't think your kind will ever understand what it is like to be human. It comes with a lot of emotions. There is a way to see your wife again. It may bring you some closure. Go speak to Dr. Barb's knack in the lab. Really? I would love to talk to her just one more time. I will go talk with Dr. Barksnack. Alright, so we're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. In the next one, we'll go see our, our dead wife. Maybe we'll get revenge on the Cervic Federation for all they've done to us. But you'll have to wait till the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all again in the next time.